Welcome back. It is a dike sample questions, paper A question number 18. Question about cytochrome P450. What does it represent? It is enzymes that participate in a oxidase uh, reaction or in a biotransformation of drugs. And for us doctors, is important oxidation of the drugs but it also participate in oxidation of any substance that can be exposed to oxidation in the body of course so is an enzyme which regulates speed of oxygen release from hemoglobin now when you are hearing some uh, oxygen release from hemoglobin it's uh, oxygen uh, dissociation curve and shifting or right or left depending on uh, how tightly is bound oxygen and how can it be released easily or not at all so it is wrong the option two is present in sympathetic nerve endings no it's present in liver it's present in liver mostly uh, participate in metabolism of noradrenaline. Noradrenaline is metabolized by monoamine oxidase uh, enzymes or also called MAO. Is terminal oxidase important in biotransformation of drug? Yes, it is a oxidase that produce uh, o o ox oxidase in uh, reaction is a potent in enzyme inducer um, it's not enzyme inducer is it is by self enzyme and it can be induced or inhibited by many substances or drugs so uh, you can put a pause and make notes from this few slides uh, like Bohr effect that refers uh, to the shift of oxygen dissociation curve it changes uh, independence of carbon dioxide or pH of the environment so since carbon dioxide reacts, reacts with water to form carbonic acid an increase in, in uh, carbonic dioxide results in a decrease in blood pH if blood pH decrease resulting in a uh, hemoglobin proteins releasing their load of oxygen so at higher uh, carbon dioxide level pH decrease in blood and for hemoglobin is easily to release oxygen in this way and if one important point that carbon dioxide have higher affinity to the uh, to the hemoglobin uh, in comparison to the oxygen and of course it binds to the hemoglobin most evidently and it is transported outside to the lung uh, noradrenaline is degraded by MAO or monamine oxidase A A is anywhere and monamine oxidase B is uh, usually presented in brain or phase one reactions okay oxidation reduction and hydrolysis that are uh, three components of phase one reactions and of course the phase two are uh, sulf sulf uh, esterase sulf uh, reaction oh the hepatic cytochrome p450 system is the most important of the phase one oxidation systems okay for example you have to know uh, inducers and and of course inhibitors of cytochrome p450 inducers are barbiturate carbamazepine or rimfampicin oh sorry rimfampine alcohol a uh, chronic use uh, phenytoin, uh, glycerophulvin, phenobarbital, sulfonylurease. 
How can I associate them and memorize like many of the central nervous system drugs like barbiturate, carbam carbamazepine, phenytoin, phenobarbital, uh, if um, pin, uh, it's, it's like amplification inducer. Uh, San John's Ward and Griseo Fulvin is, is also for P450 inducer. An inhibitor. Uh, Cimetidine, omeprazole, that are stomach acid inhibitors. Uh, ritonavir, ciprofloxacin, acute alcohol. Acute alcohol is an inhibitor in times that chronic alcohol is induced. And for example, if you are taking metronidazole, metronidazole. metronidazole you have a chance of retaining this uh, drug in your body and increasing increasing uh, uh, incidence of vomiting if you are taking acute alcohol if you are taking chronically this one will not produce uh, vomiting response uh, microlyse grapefruit amiodarone ketoconazole is inhibitor of uh, it is azole and inhibit uh, uh, fungi and isoniazid. If you want, you can make some uh, binding between them, some uh, association. Anyway, you have to memorize them in, in a way of uh, using uh, mnemonics or by making uh, yourself mnemonic. Here are links where I get information and you can also access them. I'll put down the video and open to see official uh, information. Have a good time and study hard.